All right, hey guys, and welcome back. Now, at the time of filming this, basically because everyone's supposed to be in self-quarantine, I thought what better of a time to show you how to deep clean your aquarium. Now, the stuff I'm gonna go over in this video can totally pertain to freshwater and saltwater, but I'm gonna be doing it on my 36 gallon freshwater community aquarium. Now, today I'm gonna be talking about deep cleaning from top to bottom your aquarium, not your aquarium filter. So when you're cleaning your aquarium, you always need to keep in mind that you wanna make sure you maintain a perfect balance of bacteria in your aquarium to not throw your tank back into a mini cycle. So what I recommend is if you're gonna deep clean your aquarium, do not clean your filter for one to two weeks to allow the bacteria that you may have killed or like cleaned out to go ahead and repopulate without starting a mini cycle. If you clean your tank and your filter at the same time or deep clean your tank and deep clean your filter, you're likely to go into a mini cycle, which is very bad for your fish you could have elevated levels of ammonia we don't want that so we're just gonna be covering the aquarium today and then the filter we can cover down the road but to start off let's get our materials together okay so we're gonna need a lot of stuff so let's just jump right into it the first thing you're gonna need is something to actually drain the water and fill the tank back up this is just an aquion water changer it hooks up to the sink fills up the tank super easily and nice next up we have some water conditioner we're gonna need that when we change water you're gonna need a couple towels and then I also have something to clean the glass. This is just a uh, magnetic scraper. You're likely gonna need some sort of brush, a clean one. Vinegar, if you have hard water stains on your aquarium lids, we'll get to that later. And then either a vacuum cleaner with a like soft brush right here, like that, or canned air to get the dust out of your aquarium lights and the hood of the aquarium and the stand, all the stuff like that. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do now is survey the aquarium and address some problem issues or problem areas in the aquarium that need more attention than others. An example would be these hard water stains on the back of this lid or the dirty glass in the back of the aquarium. My rocks look pretty clean for the most part, so I'm gonna lightly scrub them down, but I'm not gonna remove all the decor. If you have fake decor, you can remove it all, scrub it all down, it's really up to you, but I really like the way my aquascape is looking right now, so I'm just gonna trim up some of the plants and leave everything in place. So the first thing we're gonna tackle is the aquarium glass on the inside and then we can start draining the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my magnet and I'm gonna be using one with a scraper today. This scraper right here is very important because it allows you to get the stuck algae off. If you don't have a magnetic thing with the scraper, just go ahead and use a normal aquarium scraper like on a stick. It really gets the job done the same way. But I'm gonna stick this in here, put the magnet on, maybe. There we go. And now I'm gonna go around and scrub the entire aquarium glass. Now make sure we're not just scrubbing the front, we're scrubbing all the sides. This is a deep clean. If you have to move decor to get in some spots or if you have to move your filter hoses, go ahead and move them because we are gonna be deep cleaning the tank. So we're gonna clean all the sides completely of algae first. It may take some time, but this is the most important thing to get your aquarium looking good. If you can't see the fish through all the algae, there's some issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all up and then we'll get back and check it out. Okay, so now that I completely cleaned the glass, it's gonna be time to start draining the water. And at the same time, we're also gonna be gravel vacuuming. So once again, feel free to move decorations around. I'm gonna go ahead and start by draining around 30 to 40% of the water, then we'll get in the tank and do some stuff with the decor. And then also, just when you're gravel vacuuming, you wanna make sure you're gonna cover the entire substrate, the entire bottom of the tank, and then once again, move decorations around as needed to vacuum underneath them. Okay, so we got the tank drained as you can see and now I'm gonna go in there with some scissors and trim up some of the live plants. I'm also gonna go ahead and move the decor around a little bit because it kind of settled you know, over time in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna move everything back to where I want it. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and take a scrub brush and start scrubbing down the decor, cut off any dead plant leaves, you know, just basic stuff revolving around the decor. I'm also gonna take this time to take that brush and scrub down my filter intake and my heater and stuff like that just around the aquarium. So let's go ahead and do that and then we can get into filling the tank right back up. I went ahead and trimmed some of the plants. I tried my best to cover up the roots because as you can see, the roots are trying to come up, but it was kind of difficult. I need to fix this rock one more time though. I don't like it, but I went ahead and fixed everything for the most part. Super cloudy because I just messed everything up, but I gave everything a nice good scrub down, uh, trimmed some of the plants, like I said, and we're good to go to start filling it back up. Okay, so I'm starting to fill the tank back up and we're gonna add the water conditioner. Now just make sure when you're filling your tank back up to use water that's the same temperature as the water already in the tank, just so it's not stressful on the fish. Now while the tank is filling, I'm gonna start cleaning it from the top down on the outside. So as you can see, there's stuff like, you know, fish food crumbs, dust, all that stuff. So I'm gonna start by just vacuuming off the top of the lid, 
Then I'm gonna go down and vacuum all the dust out of the stand, like all this stuff in here, that's all pretty nasty. So I'm gonna clean all that out, and by then the tank should be full. Okay, so now that the aquarium is filled up and cleaned, we can clean the outside of the aquarium. And then we'll clean the top later. But I just have a little bottle of RODI water. You can honestly use Windex. Just spray it on the towel first. Don't spray it at the aquarium. But because this is just RODI water, this is perfectly safe. And I'm going to be cleaning the entire tank, everything. The stand, everything's going to get wiped down after we vacuumed it. So I'm just going to take this towel and just go like this until this is all clean. Once again, front, sides, everything. And then once we're done wiping everything down, we can start on the top. So I'm going to remove the light. And now I know the lighting's bad, but I'm going to do the same thing by spraying the light. And then we're going to wipe this down. And then just set it aside. So now we're going to tackle all this white calcium stuff. So I'm going to take all these little things out that are preventing the fish from jumping out. And then I'm going to take both of these lids, all these panels, straight to the bathroom and we're going to clean them with some vinegar. So as you can see, we have all of this in the bathtub. I'm just going to take vinegar and just dump it all over this. Some of it's obviously going to get rinsed off, but mainly we just try to want to get some of it to soak on here and just eat away at that calcium. I'm going to leave this for about 15 minutes and then we'll come rinse it off. Okay, so everything's been soaking, so I'm going to go ahead and scrub it down with a towel, get this all back on the tank, and we're going to be good to go. And that is pretty much it. The aquarium's completely clean from top to bottom. Um, a rock just fell. We're going to ignore that. But plants are trimmed, fish are happy, everything is doing really, really good. And now we just gotta wait for the tank to go ahead and clear up. But that is gonna be pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed following me along the journey of deep cleaning this aquarium. Now, for the next couple months, I'll only have to do water changes and won't have to really scrub algae, as luckily this tank doesn't grow a crazy amount of algae. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and good bye.